So in summary, is this a shoe that you should think about getting? Well, I think, yes. I mean, if you like a Pegasus, I think this is a good version of the Pegasus. And I think this is definitely my favourite of the 37, 38, 39, just in terms of the fact that it has the best sort of lockdown capability. I don't think the underfoot feel with the React is really any different. Hey, hope you're doing okay and welcome to a place called Calvert in Buckinghamshire. Now if you're into railways at all you might know this is on the route of the HS2. Anyway, not, this isn't a video about railways. I've actually got the Pegasus 39s on today, just recently got them. I've done about three or four runs of them now, about 20 miles, so I thought time to give you my first review of them. Anyway, let's have a look at the shoe. So the upper on the 39 is an engineered mesh, which virtually all shoes seem to have these days. And it feels a, a bit sort of thinner, a bit more sort of pliable than the, say, the 37 and the 38. So I'm feeling that it's sort of helping to get a bit more sort of flexibility into it. And how many eyelets have we got here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we do have an opportunity for the double knot. I know Ed Bud was saying that you don't get much laces and I've because I've such got such narrow feet I've had to pull them in quite a lot and there we go I mean that that is sort of a fair amount but I think if you had more normal wet feet then you probably would have so much room but I think the key difference for me in the lockdown in fact is that this tongue here is sort of nice and padded here but it's not it's not so thick like the invincible one but it does allow you when you've got your foot on to get that sort of wrap around feel and then I can pull these in quite tight with a fly wire here so you can see that my feet are just so narrow I've already tried to pull these in as much as I can. That really does help with the lockdown. You've got a standard Nike insole, which I always find them quite um, plush in themselves. So if you feel that there, that does feel quite spongy. Moving to the back, we've got this sort of the traditional cutaway heel tab. Initially, I thought there was a bit of a problem because it's quite a lot of padding there, and it feels sort of quite sort of tight on your on the back of the, of the foot. So, but after a few runs, it's kind of softened out a bit, and I'm feeling a bit more comfortable with it now. The heel cup's quite firm actually for a modern day shoe. You certainly feel there's quite a lot of stability there. I mean, some modern shoes don't really have much at all there, but that certainly isn't the case. And the back here, the sort of shaping seems a bit different. I'm not quite sure that really has any real effect, but anyway. And this React foam, I mean, to touch it, it kind of feels fairly soft, but just trying to push it in. I mean, there's a bit of give there, but you, know, you just see why it feels such a firmish ride by modern day standards. And the outsole is, has changed a bit but it's sort of traditional sort of pegasus crash rails there with the um the darker green and the lighter green on this one but they sort of section is out if i can i put up a picture comparing it to the 37 and um the waffle pattern has changed slightly and they put these sort of little sections in it now which i'm not sure that has any real effect but certainly the pegasus is always a shoe that you feel like you could take out some light trails but but uh, that you could say that about any shoe these days, especially in the summer. So I was thinking with the Pegasus, it's perhaps the most popular running shoe ever. Obviously on the 39th version of the road version, we've got the trail versions and the Pegasus turbos as well. And my very first Pegasus, I think back in around about the year 2000, I put a picture up there with my old cat Mabel regarding it. So more recently, I've had the 37, the 38 and the 39, or the 38 in the shield version. So, so the first question to perhaps ask is, is the 39 better than the 37 and the 38? Well, I'd say, yes but a qualified yes in terms of the fact that the underfoot feel feels very similar I've still got this slab of react on there but the lockdown it seems to be much better than the 37 which i thought was a terrible shoe i got the nike by you version in a narrow and it was so shallow i felt i was going to get like a black toe on my big toes and i put them on again just before this video just to remind myself and just put it putting it on i could just feel the pressure of my toe instantly and what was also interesting i took the insoles out and they're both exactly the same so in a way i can actually get the, the lockdown better in these 39s than i can on the 37s i didn't actually get the 38 version because i thought they were so similar but it eventually got the shield version and i quite like that one but the problem i found with the pegasus is that they all come out quite sort of wide people all say nike shoes are very narrow but for me i find in some of these daily trainers they do them in quite wide they do do them in quite difficult to get a good lockdown so the 37 had a very very shallow sort of thin 
tongue, which meant it was quite hard then to get a nice lockdown. But on the 39, they returned to the flywire here down the side, and the tongue is a lot more padded than it used to be. So it's allowing me to get quite a good lockdown, although I have been to pull the laces in quite a lot. Now, Nike seemed to want to continue with this React foam, which is never one I've really enjoyed that much. It's quite soft to touch, but when you actually go out running with it, it feels kind of quite firm. And I think the problem with the Pegasus shoes is quite a heavy slab of it, and in my size, the UK 13, it just feels like it's almost too much stack in a way. I feel like I just wanted to be able to sort of flex a bit more. And just walking around now in these Pegasus 39s, I'm feeling a lot better than it was in the 37s. I think perhaps because I was able to get them a bit narrower on the foot, but it's still sort of feeling that it's quite a, a firm shoe in my modern day standards. Like compared to the Vossi Nitro from Puma that I was wearing the other day, chalk and cheese in terms of underfoot feel. And you may actually think, well, it's one extreme to the other. Is the shoe like that too soft? And is the shoe like this a bit too firm? But then you think for the price of the shoe, the Pegasus I can got off the Nike website for just under £110. It's not a bad value for this in this day and age. And I think it's a shoe that definitely will be a good workhouse. It's just not very exciting. You just sort of put it on and thinking, well, what am I going to do today in this shoe? Like, oh, I'll just go for a few easy miles. And yes, you can pick up the pace, but there's just so many shoes now that are more interesting but is that what, what it's meant to be just something just to get the miles done not really have to think about it too much and people, when I always think well recommend the shoe for like if just want to have one shoe I don't want to spend too much money and you kind of think well the Pegasus is the obvious thing to say isn't it because it's a it's not like a bargain bucket shoe it's got some nice cushioning everyone wears them it's such a lineage of shoes but yeah when you actually got it on compared to like your carbon racers and the endorphin speeds and something like that it's sort of lacking but is that the whole point of it just the fact that it's sort of like nice and cheap well relatively anyway so I hope you can see my feet here. Just trying to demonstrate how much sort of pulling power I can get on these laces to come my, my narrow feet. So, so sometimes with some shoes like the Alpha Fly, it's almost like a tug of war case. And it's a bit like this with these, but I do prefer my feet to be really qu quite nice and sort of locked down. And then I don't feel they're flapping about. And then you can see then I've got a nice sort of lockdown here, but there's, there is a bit too much volume here. So I'd be interested to see if I get the narrow version to see how much room I've got. I mean, I've got a lot of room there. The length is fine though. In terms of the weight of the Pegasus 39, it's not quite as light as Ed Bud was saying in his version. In, in my um, pair, in the, in the UK 13, I've got 352 grams on the left and 358 on the right. I'm not quite sure why there's such a difference, but that's only marginally less than the Pegasus 37. I'll put other figures there. I think it's only about five or, five or 10 grams heavier. So for me, it's still a shoe around about that 350, 360 mark, which is pretty typical for a daily trainer. So it's not ideal, but I kind of feel like I come to accept that sort of weight. I mean, that's the same weight as the Boston 10 in my size and the same weight as the Vomero 16 from Nike as well, which I would say the Vomero 16 is kind of the more upmarket version of the Pegasus, if that makes any sense. So in summary, is this a shoe that you should think about getting? Well, I think, yes. I mean, if you like a Pegasus, I think this is a good version of the Pegasus. And I think this is definitely my favorite of the 37, 38 and 39, just in terms of the fact that it has the best sort of lockdown capability. I don't think the underfoot feel with the React is really any different. I mean, some people said that this version is a bit softer. I put my 37s on, they felt kind of similar. The 38s and the Shield version actually felt slightly softer if anything but I think React is a possibly a phone that does sort of soften over time and I think I've already noticed that my sort of toe off is starting to feel a bit more flexible I think the first run in these they feel like it's almost like, like a brick but they do seem to sort of get better I've been wearing the Vermeero 16s quite a lot over the last few months and um, that has got a Zoom X in it but you wouldn't really know it's Zoom X compared to say an Invincible or an Exxon because it's sort of instilled it's sort of covered in with that carrier foam but quite like in them and it almost feel the Vermeero 16s is kind of very similar to a Pegasus and I'm always now feeling like I'm preferring a slightly more firmer shoe for my sort of easier miles. Something like the Invincible is nice but it's almost like quite hard work to run in so I think if you're looking for something that's not ridiculously soft and also the Vossi Nitro 2 that I wore the other day after a few miles I could sort of feel like it was almost getting quite hard on my thighs so yeah, is a soft shoe often the best thing it kind of feels like it should be the best shoe but sometimes you think well just enough cushioning which maybe this react is it just gives you enough cushioning and you see lots of elite athletes actually wearing the pegasus to do sessions in that and you think well how the hell do they do that but i think a lot of the time they're just looking to go flat out they can run in a shoe at five minute miling 
no problem at all whereas we're struggling to run seven minute miles in our next sense it just goes to show isn't it but yeah i think for 110 pounds definitely a shoe worth considering and if you can get a discount so much the better and it looks like they're bringing out a load of more colorways as of today i saw a red one i saw an all black one and a white one all black shoes are always good i think because you can sort of wear them in a sort of uh go to work and then run at home and then we've done that before with a black all black pair of pegasus turbos anyway so i hope you enjoyed this first look at the nike air zoom pegasus 39 to give it its full title i'll be sure to do some shoe offs i think maybe one against the puma velocity nitro 2 would be a good one as a soft shoe against some more firm shoes see how they get on so hope you enjoyed this one like and subscribe on that and see you the next one then bye so this site is obviously not a place that it intended to be for runners is it so maybe in a couple of years time when nature's 2 has arrived that site may have more pertinence I was being mean to this Calvin station. Platforms, maybe for the last time.